Back in October 2018, surviving rivals in the ongoing war in Terror Town, No Limit Cairo and KTS Dre would go live together on Instagram, beefing each other face to face for the whole world to see. What's up, why you said he wasn't at me, bro? No, man, what you on, little bro, man? Why you on here capping, man, like this, man? Why you playing on here like this? <laughs> Cairo would ask Dre who's there with him, with Dre showing him a whole bunch of guns, causing Cairo to quickly hang up. Hey, who is that? Who is that in, on the back? Hey, I'm finna hang up, bro, cause you got niggas looking at me, bro. I'm finna hang up, cause you got niggas looking at me, bro. You got niggas looking at me, I'm finna hang up. Nah, they scared. Nah, I ain't coming like that, bro. Nah, that's cause they scared. You got niggas yeah, you got I wanna see their face, let me see their face. They don't wanna see nothing, see what? See what? I wanna they see their face. Nothing, I don't got nothing for them to see. Yeah, what's that, bro? I don't got no. <laughs> he got a Friday shit, bro. Yeah, he up and gone. He, he, ain't, he ain't no street nigga, bro. Cairo would go on to say that all of Dre's new people around him are new and that he doesn't have any beef with them. He's talking about, man, who you with? I can't even tell you all that. I would ask you who you with, but I know your ass hang with all new niggas that you trying to recruit. Them niggas straight bitches, bro. Them ain't even real ops. Them niggas ain't even two of us, bro. They feel important right now. We don't even know they goof up. Y'all that had some work. Cairo goes on to say that KTS Dre is scared of Lil Jon, who is apparently the realist in Lakeside. Cairo then brings another No Limit member by the name of Magic into his life, with him asking who even is KTS Von whilst getting a haircut. They on my shit too, you bro. <laughs> what for Lil said they at? Stay tripping, bro. You already just took your way last time. Hey, yeah, it's sleeping, gang. I came from silence here. What up, niggas? What the fuck, you getting a cut? You finna get a cut? Yeah, bro. Who that cutting your shit? Man, don't let that nigga fuck you up. <laughs> Cairo would go on to explain that he would rather settle things in the DMs with Dre, saying that Dre is still on house arrest and suggesting that he would beat him up. Be steady on my shit, Jamal, you niggas hoes. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to argue with you, folks. Can you please DM me so we can talk, folks, regularly, like we always do, folks? Cause I don't want to argue with you, bro. I hate arguing with us. He just put up some shit talking about they. He on house arrest, so you just stop talking. Let's do get off my shit. He ain't no shit to do that. Ah, beat the fuck up. Cairo would then joke that Dre is scared of the ops. I'm finna get off this land for the ops. The ops scaring me, fuck. <laughs> they scaring the fuck out of me. But the whole time that Cairo was talking, Dre would be in the comments suggesting No Limit are a bunch of hoes. <laughs> Hell no. He said no cap, y'all some hoes. <laughs> but we some bitches, bro. That's what you want to hear? We some bitches. Apparently, Dre would also comment that he doesn't recognize Magic from No Limit, saying that he's a new person too, much to the amusement of Cairo. <laughs> he talking about who is Magic, what he do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about who that is, man. All them new ass niggas you hang with. Dre would reply saying that people that he's around are the original cutthroats, with Cairo eventually admitting that beefing the ops on IG is so 2014 and he's only doing it because he likes Dre. Please say, please say less. You, you, you putting on the show, folks, on this Instagram shit, bro. That shit ain't even what's up. That's the shit we was doing in 2014, going live with each other and shit like that. I really ain't on that no more. I just did that because I like it. I, I really ain't on that no more, folks, going live with, with the opposite shit and um, doing all that goofy shit. I just did that because I still like you a little bit. We can talk regular, bro. We too, we got we, we got too grown for that shit. There's too many police shit watching. Then something happened, they gonna be, oh, they was arguing on Instagram and all that dick sucking ass shit. There's too much police shit going on Instagram. You steady wanna wolf on this shit. They ain't even where it's at, bro.
In a way, Cairo was right. So much time had passed since their run-in at McDonald's, it makes you wonder why they would even still go back and forth. But of course, despite a lot of time passing, the beef between Lakeside and No Limit had continued raging, with lives continuing to be lost on both sides. And in 2019, there would be a violent exchange between members of No Limit and a terrifying set of new enemies with family ties to Lakeside called Death Row. Yes, that is an AK-47 on the right. On August the 11th, Mook, real name Malcolm Sabs from Death Row, is standing on a sidewalk on the 8600 block of South Exchange Avenue, when at 1.35am, a group of men approached him on foot, opening fire. He was struck in the head and later pronounced dead. And then the following day on August the 12th, Willie from No Limit is targeted in what appears to be a retaliatory attack. The 18-year-old, real name Willie Washington, was standing on the sidewalk at the 7800 block of South Phillips Avenue. When a car pulled up, two people jumped out, shooting him multiple times, jumping back in the vehicle and driving off. He was shot in the back of the head and the body, being pronounced dead by 8.52am. But much like the other senseless killings that we have seen in the Chicago gang wars, Willie's body would lay in the street for an extended period of time, during which time members of the public were able to take a picture with the grisly photo of Willie laying face down in the street, circulating on social media, but I won't show you here. Sadly, the violence wasn't over yet, because only two days after that, apparently the cousin of Mad Max, Magic from No Limit, the same person who had been on that FaceTime call with Cairo after he'd hung up on KTS Dre, was standing next to a car on the 7800 block of South Essex Avenue, only one block over from where Willie had been killed, when a dark coloured vehicle drove by with someone inside opening fire on the group of people standing by the car. Magic, real name Kenneth Summers, would be struck in the head, later being pronounced dead in hospital. This is just one of the latest devastating losses for No Limit. Meanwhile, one of their most despised rivals, KTS Dre, would catch a charge himself, ending up in jail for a short time. But by December of 2020, he would be back home, going live on social media, telling people that he didn't want to leave the city of Chicago, and saying that he's still shooting his ops whilst fighting court cases. Now I ain't gonna be nowhere but in Iraq, nigga. I'm over east, nigga, Moblock soldier, nigga. We ain't shooting from no car, we just trying to get closer, nigga. Talking about, am I in Iraq, nigga? Nigga, I just had court, nigga, in Cook County today, nigga. Fuck you, talking about. Bro, you need to leave the city they, unless they gonna get you. Dre then tells his ops to come and kill him because he's tired of them threatening him. Sooner or later. Sooner then, nigga. Sooner than later, y'all. I'm tired of this shit. Come take me out this shit because I can't take it no more. Y'all be pissing me off with that stuff. Y'all been threatening me for 20 years, fuck. It's all bitch ass on. He also denied even knowing who Cairo was when somebody brought up the McDonald's video. Explain the video or you punching Cairo. Who the fuck is Cairo, bro? Who the fuck is that? Cairo, where you from? KTS Drake clearly had no limit on his mind during this period. That month, he also released the song NLMBK Part 2 alongside KTS Rio, which had lyrics seemingly aimed at G Herbo, saying that he's still on the block, unlike these rappers who only act gangster. And from here, he would continue talking openly on social media about his enemies. On February 5th, 2021, going live to speak on Lil Wet from No Limit and the alleged killing of four men after his father's death, with KTS Dre suggesting that all of the men killed were innocent and had nothing to do with killing his father Big Wet. Over there, only smoking. Fuck No Limit, nigga. Fuck the whole No Limit, nigga. Go cry, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Mad Max died a rat, nigga, on Vaughn, nigga. Mad Max died a mad rat, nigga. Look it up, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Some motherfucker fighting for their life, nigga. Charged with a dying declaration because this bitch ass, nigga. Said a nigga name on his deathbed, nigga. Whole cow, nigga. Whole pussy. No, fuck y'all that have listening to that shit, supporting that shit. Whole pussy, whole gang, bitch. Whole gang snitching. Y'all be supporting that shit. Y'all ass weird as hell. Oh, yeah. Look what. Aha, uh -huh, bitch. A water your daddy, ho, nigga. Fuck you, come out. You bitch ass nigga. You came home, boy, for all them innocent ass. Them, all that shit, all innocent people, boy. That's another thing, y'all ass be weird as hell. Them all innocent motherfuckers, man. Y'all be acting like a motherfucker that did some shit. Shut up. And the motherfucker ain't cried about none of them people. But probably they mamas, nigga. Later that month, on February the 28th, 2021, KTS Dre goes live with Cairo once again, with Cairo accusing Dre of sneak dissing him on another page. What up, Lil G? What's up, little girl? I see that they just sent me that page, but you and dude sneak this on me. Who sneak this? That you and you and that you and that video goofy. Man, I don't 
don't even think about niggas. You just sit on the I'm lab. talking about that tip. Bro, that, that, it don't matter that free what I, look, cash look, shit, man. It don't matter what I say. Why I you mean, always yeah. got to talk over a motherfucker? Look, listen, bro, listen, listen, you know we used to talk on the phone all the time. I know, but look, you this. just sit on live. Let the fans goofy. on here for you. ain't got to do all that extra shit. As things go on, Cairo accuses Dre of lying about him, accusing Dre of saying all Cairo is known for is getting beaten up in McDonald's, with Cairo wanting Dre to admit that he is known for much more than that, with Dre ultimately refusing to admit that he knows Cairo for anything gangster. I'm trying to see why you lying on me though. All right, tell me a lie. They just said, you just said, that that's the only shit I'm known for. I want you to stamp it on one of your homies. I ain't trying to be disrespectful of none of this shit. Listen, I'm gonna listen. put this on my homies on Cutthroat Gang, on my, the whole gang, every last one of them. I don't know none gangster shit, no gangster shit about you. Why you just lying like that? I personally don't know no gangster shit. Dre goes on to accuse Cairo of lying about chasing Dre off the block. You just said on live and told a nigga, let a nigga tell you, you ready to expose Goofy Dude, man, how he be running and doing this and doing this, how he be running for y'all, how y'all used to chase him. When y'all ever chase me? Whoever chased me? Whoever chased me, bro? You, you from over east, fuck the internet, and whole east side gonna hit us. Whoever chased me, nigga, on 79th. Or did niggas did run get for chased. me? Or did chased. niggas run for me? You did get chased. Who chased me? You chased shit before and you got your ass chased too. I chased unlimited shit. But listen though, you got your ass chased too and you By ran who? a lot of times. By who? So, so. For you not Superman, you said, bro. On what, what you never ran, ran, on what you never ran from us, period. Stamp that, Wait, put that. Put that on your brother. Anything you never ran from us, uh, ran in no, in no, ran from in you. no, in no, in no situations you never ran from nobody from no limit. Folks. Once Cairo tells Dre to swear on his brother's life that he never ran from no limit, suddenly Dre gets agitated and begins to bring up Cairo's deceased friends. This what I Who you run? You, I, I look, said, look, put look, it on your brother that you never you ran from no, hey, no limit. Stop saying my brother. Stop saying my brother. You don't get to say you. Ain't I'm just saying. saying well, I'm, I'm not. But bro, look, this on, what I'm bro. saying. This what I'm saying. Why you? you Still ain't yet. Why you no, still ain't you stamping? put it on rock I ever ran from you. Put it on anybody that you no, never put ran it on from. One us. of your homies I ever ran from you. You ain't had to run from me. Okay, put it on your homies I ever ran from the other nigga who got on live and said I be running from y'all all the time. Why put you going around this shit? Why you going around okay, this let's shit? Let's keep it real. I'm known for running. That's what I'm known I'm for. I'm just saying, why you saying you never ran from none of us, period? Hey, look, I don't know who I ran from. You know, I've been times I'd have been on setting life a little weird shit that happened. I probably did have to run, but not from an individual, not from you. They would continue to go back and forth, with Dre insisting he had made No Limit run away from him unlimited times. You ran a lot of times. From so who? I fun, didn't have I ever ran from you. Have you ran from me before? Hell no. Nah. On what? I never oh, ran from you. I only said you one time. I only said you one time in person. And that was that day, and I ain't even run that day. Hey, you hear me? You lucky we don't lie. You ain't never All ran right, from listen, me. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, y'all ain't all ran from me at once. Ain't, hey, look, hey, look. You ain't never ran from me a lot of times in your life. Like, y'all ain't never had to run a lot of times because of me. Like, all the time, like, unlimited uh, times. Like, come on, all right, you know, listen. I'm going to ask you this quick. Guys. I ain't make niggas no, run. No, listen, I listen, listen. Everybody run. So, like, who, 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 Hold on. Who, 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 look, who, look, 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 look. The conversation ends with Cairo asking Dre one more time if Dre can admit that he has heard Cairo did something gangster to KTS. So you never heard my name and no gangster shit with your homies, uh, any of your homies. I want you to no. put it on any nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. Listen to me, no, folks. If you get, if you did anything, you got away with it, folks. We do not be thinking that, but we think you. Oh what? Look, listen. We think you. Look I, I'm finna get, get out. I'm finna get out. I'm finna get out. You just lie. You just stunning. Apparently, this call had taken place whilst KTS Dre was still on house arrest for another charge where he'd apparently wrestled a cop for a gun after a traffic stop, with him apparently violating the conditions of his bond and being sent back to the Cook County Jail in June. But within a month, Dre would be eligible for bail and his girlfriend would post his bond on July the 10th, 2021. Dre would have to put up $5,000 and wear an ankle monitor as part of bail conditions. But unfortunately for Dre, he would never even make it home to serve his house arrest. Because as he was leaving Cook County Jail after bailing out, a car pulled up around 8.50 p.m with two men said to have fired dozens of shots. A total of 64 shots would strike KTS Dre, real name Londre Sylvester, with him later being pronounced dead. After the murder, police were seen putting dozens of evidence markers around the scene, with the news of this brutal shooting once again making its way onto the TV news. A man is dead after a shooting right in front of the Cook County Jail. Chicago police
Police say a 31 year old man and a 60 year old woman were walking when two people got out of a car and fired shots, striking them both. The man suffered gunshot wounds to the face and chest and was pronounced dead at Mount Sinai. Footage from the scene shows several evidence markers placed on the street and near the sidewalk. A man named Lundry Sylvester was leaving the jail. Uh, he went by the rap name KTS Dre. He'd just been bailed out and police say he was ambushed by two men who got out of a vehicle near the jail. Sylvester was shot as many as 64 times and pronounced dead at Mount Sinai. In the aftermath of Dre's death, his sister would claim that somebody must have given his location away and his mother claimed that it was too dangerous to even hold a funeral for him. Naturally, they would fear rivals coming through and shooting the memorial up. Ironically, something that KTS members had allegedly done to their rivals from No Limit many years before. With that in mind then, it's no surprise that following KTS Dre's death, No Limit members would mock him relentlessly. Cairo would initially pretend to mourn KTS Dre's death, clowning on Instagram and pretending as if he was genuinely upset about the loss, playing emotional music over pictures of him smoking as if he was sad, with Cairo even going as far as to post DMs, referring to the McDonald's incident, replying to people telling Dre to come and beat him up again. In fact, after KTS Dre's death, Cairo would frequently make light of the McDonald's incident in social media posts like this one from 2022, where he claimed to have made it out of McDonald's safe. Though to be fair, Cairo would come out soon after making all of these mocking posts to clear the air and say he's just being goofy and cracking jokes because Dre hurt his feelings all those years ago. Meanwhile, Lil Wet would post a face palm emoji on IG. Others would mock Dre for being shot 64 times, posting up that they're going to go and play Nintendo 64, whilst others would make posts suggesting that messing with No Limit was a bad decision. Many said that they were smoking on Dre. Some posted pictures in tribute to Mad Max. EVK Juby celebrated with a big drink. NLMB Jock mocked him. Meanwhile, many on the KTS side of the war would mourn their loss. Lil Art paid tribute, saying that his killers are going to avenge Dre and that he will see him soon. Ultimately, the death of KTS Dre represented the final chapter in a nearly 10 year long feud that started the day that KTS Dre and Von confronted Cairo and the other No Limit members in McDonald's. With all of this in mind, many of the No Limit members' online behavior following the death of KTS Dre can be seen as incredibly suspicious. Particularly No Limit Cairo, who after this incident would continue to spend literally hours live on social media arguing with his enemies, dropping into numerous Instagram live sessions with KTS Royale, who would later claim that Cairo killed KTS Dre, with Cairo quickly hanging up. I don't even tote guns for real, so why you in your rap saying Cairo keep his blick on him? That shit sound police as fuck. I don't hang with, I'm not even no limit. What the fuck you want to see me with no limit for? Now you think I'm on your lap. I'm really cut though, and deep down the sad. Bro, I'm cut though, because I cut nigga Stokes. Well, no, who you cut? What you think you is? Kill us all fuck? Do you think I'm a killer, nigga? No. Hey, that's fucked up, though. I know I know how to fight, though. Don't let that no lack of shit fool you. If we want you, you would be got the money, Look, man. Y'all hit the Snake Dre at the county. Who? What? And send a phone call through you niggas. Hey, I'm gone, man. Yo ass. Y'all hit the send a call. While it's not definitively clear who was responsible for the killing of KTS Dre, what is clear is that this beef has escalated so much over the years that it was unlikely that KTS Dre would ever be able to live a long life in the city of Chicago. And while No Limit members were celebrating the death of KTS Dre like no other, sadly this would not represent the end of the war by a long shot. Because even if one of their most feared ops was off the street, there would still be an endless supply of enemies and their surviving relatives gunning to kill and hurt members of the No Limit crew. With these deadly feuds unfortunately raging on to this very day.